Trey Yinks on the ground in Israel, where Trey, they're still waiting to see when Iran starts shooting. Yeah, hey guys, good morning. Absolutely. And this morning, there was yet another Iran backed attack into this country. Drones and rockets being fired just a few miles from here, one hitting near to a car and critically injuring two people. It comes as we continue to follow a major story out of the Middle East overnight, where an Iran backed militia targeted a base in Iraq that was housing American forces. We do know multiple U.S. troops were injured. We are waiting updates on their conditions. The attack does mark the 219th time that U.S. forces were targeted in the Middle East since October. And the timing of this incident that occurred at the Al Assad Air Base in western Iraq couldn't have come at a more tense time. President Biden was at the White House being updated on the expected Iranian attack that is being planned against Israel. The commander in chief posting to X that he was briefed, and there are efforts underway to de escalate. Biden goes on to say, We also discussed the steps we are taking to defend our forces and respond to any attack against our personnel in a manner in place of our choosing. The question now is how the United States will respond and what role the Americans will play in defending Israel. Iranian officials briefed foreign ministers of other countries yesterday and confirmed they do plan to strike Israel in response to the killing of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran. This comes as the war in Gaza grinds on, and we are following a new development about the United Nations. The UN announced yesterday it had fired nine UNRWA staffers for suspected involvement in the October 7th massacre. Right now, there are no diplomatic solutions on the table to end the war in Gaza, de escalate with Hezbollah, or stop Iran from attacking. Dangerous and unpredictable days ahead. Guys? Okay. All right, Trey, thank, thank you very you. much. Job, Live sure. from Haifa. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.